I'm going to show you how to create questions in Active Inspire for Active ex Expressions. So I'm clicking on Inspire, it's going to open up. And I'm going to get rid of my dashboard here. And I'm going to change over to my select tool in my toolbox. I want to show you something else in Active Inspire too. When you get ready to use your active expressions, notice I've got my browser open here and I'm on the voting browser. Make sure that you have active expressions selected here or they will not work. Um, there's also the choice there for active votes, but today we're working on expressions. And so when I want to insert a question into the page, I go to the insert menu. And then the second choice is questions. And here you've got your different question types like we um, talked about earlier in this course. Uh, multiple choice, yes, no. Yes, no is also the area where you can do true, false. Sort in order, Likert scale, numeric, text, and equation. So I'm going to start with a multiple choice question. And I'm just simply going to highlight and hit my delete key so I can have some new text. And I've already selected multiple choice. I can, I can use this, this drop down menu for that as well. And now I'm over here in the right and this is where you have your answers. So it gives you a choice of up to six answers. I only want to have four. So I hit this little X button right here. Now if I wanted to add one of them back, I've accidentally deleted too many times, I could simply just start typing right here and it would add another option for me. Notice your question shows up right here. And I'm highlighting and deleting to add my answers here. I don't even know if I spelled his name right. All right, and you can also assign a correct answer if you'd like. If you notice, there's a little box with the words correct answer written next to it. So I'm going to assign the correct answer. And as I scroll down here, got some more options. I like to replace the page content with a new design. And I usually go down to the bottom because I like where it has the question and then it has the options just right underneath the question like this. I like the way that looks, but there are several different layouts so you can play around with those. And then I hit apply and then done. And now I have created a question in my flip chart for kids to use the active expressions with. To get started voting, all I have to do is hit the play button over here, and it's as simple as that.